Welcome to the Smith and Rowland Show. Let's join our host, Alan Smith and Jeff Rowland. Here on the Smith and Rowland Show, we've got Alan, we've got Jeff, and you've got me. That's yes, right. Jason's here me. today. It's me. When we first started the discussion today, you brought up mm-hmm. an article about AI and the AI religion. Correct. I wanted to just uh, co- kind of go off of the very first statement. What was the first statement? Listen to this. Will millions of people soon be looking to artificial intelligence for spiritual guidance? Oh, my gosh. Now, we were talking. So is it well, artificial spirituality? Well, watch this. I, I, I want to run something by you. This is just uh, uh, food for thought and for discussion's mm. sake. Okay? Okay. We were talking how that when God speaks something to the earth, Mm -hmm. I'd preach that this morning. When God speaks something to earth, it becomes operational and active at that very moment. Here's a couple things that the Scripture points out. No man knows the day nor the hour of the Lord's return. Only the Father, not even the angels. That's what it says. That's what the Bible says. Therefore, Satan doesn't know, right? Right. Okay. If Satan don't know when Jesus is coming back, me and you both know he has to have someone ready. Mm Mm-hmm in the form of this Antichrist, and we know that there is an unholy trinity talked about in the book of Revelation. There is, there you, is. You, you've got the, the dragon, you have the Antichrist, and you've got the false prophet. And all of that is, is seen in the, uh, um, in the book of Revelation. Talks about how that uh, uh, the dragon gives power for those to worship the beast mm-hmm. and, and all of those things. Will millions of people soon be looking to artificial intelligence for spiritual guidance? Is this in some way some type of forerunner during an end-time scenario? If you go back to Daniel 12, 4, seal up the, the words of this book, Daniel, till the time of the end, and the time of the end was described as many would run to and fro and knowledge would increase. Mm-hmm. Okay? So just mm-hmm. think about that just for a minute. And I want your ideas on the productivity of artificial intelligence being used for spiritual guidance. My my answer to that question, because that's a question, will millions of people soon be looking to artificial intelligence for spiritual guidance? The answer is absolutely. Well, I'm persuaded that most of the world is going to think that artificial intelligence, just like with Google, most people, believe it or not, will Google something and believe it's it's 100% true. Absolutely. And that is a type of AI, a search engine Google is. Yeah. And so it gathers information. It doesn't say that it gathers true information. It gathers information. So AI, and there again, I cite Google as a type of AI. Of course, they're talking about greater AI than, well, not greater AI, different application of AI, which they'll write a sermon. Right. Or they'll speak. And they'll speak a sermon or their or, or whatever. I believe, Jeff, that people will look at AI uh, just like a horoscope. I believe it'll be of the same spirit mm-hmm. of a horoscope uh, where people uh, are trying to read the stars, if you will. Or I think it would come under that same type of witchery. Um, okay, now you use that word witchery. Mm-hmm. So you believe that in in uh, that there can be applications of artificial intelligence that would be manipulate, manipulated by demons and used demonically. Mm-hmm. See, I think that's one of the problems I have with systematic theology, to use that terminology. Okay. One of the problems I have with it, you line up your scripture to equal a truth that's unknown. I have a hundred pieces of evidence that says that this is what's true. Mm-hmm. And it lines them up, you know. Well, AI, that's all it does. It accumulates all this information to equal an unknown or a truth by accumulating, key word being accumulating information. Accumulating information to equal a truth. And I read a little proverb one time, uh, uh, the accumulation of information does not equal a spiritual truth. So you can't use a system of thought to come up with a God answer. I agree with that. So I'm saying any so, kind of intelligence cannot be used. No intelligence can be used. Cannot be used because God and His Word is not systematic. In that, God says it, and it just makes it true. That's right. That's different 
than having a series of accumulation of, of information or evidence, I would call it. You don't accumulate evidence to equal the unknown truth, even you, though that's what people do. If you approach the Word of God with a preconceived idea in your mind of where you either want it to, to end up, you can make it, or you can make it you work. Can make it you work. can make it work. You, you can just make, I, now, and to me, the relationship with God's issue, and let me tell you why. In the book of Revelation, Jesus judged those seven churches. And he. we've discussed this in times past, but I'll bring it up again. Jesus judged the seven churches in Revelation. He didn't judge them on theology. Right, that's right. He judged them on their relationship with him. Right. So, absolutely. you can have all of this theology and all of this stuff in your brain. What equals spiritual truth is being led by the Holy Spirit of God. You've got a relationship with Jesus, and he says, while you're in Walmart, go over there and talk to that person. Yeah. So I believe, and I, of course, you know, I'm a word guy, but I also believe in this day and time, because of AI and everything else, that the Word of God is supposed to equal such a relationship that I have with God that we're on a first-term basis and so, therefore, I trust him in every decision that I make. I trust him in every foot. So there is there is the word, but then there's this thing of being in a relationship. As an example, this isn't a poor example, but it's the truth. You could call me up on the phone and say, Alan, get down to the studio quick. Hang up. Well, I wouldn't say, okay, Jeff, call you back. I've got to have more reasoning than that. Mm-hmm. Because of my level of trust in you, I'd, I'd just be here. Yeah. And I wouldn't know why. All right, if I have that much trust level with you, surely to goodness I can have more with God. So when God says something, you, for some reason the human mind wants to accumulate information on why God said it. So therefore, I understand why God said it, so I believe it. Yeah, That's not the Word of God. So with AI, I think that AI still has to have a search engine of some type. That it, it's, does. it does. It does, that it's searching yeah for all of these topics or whatever and, and, and its filters and everything, and then it brings together all of this evidence and puts it together in the forms of sentence or a, or a way of thinking. You could say, okay, I want an article on dispensational theology or I want one on covenant theology or whatever, and I'm sure it can search out there everywhere and come up with something and write you a, yeah. you, you know, a decent paper. And I, think, I, I think like the thing that's, that gets most people is that it actually has a tone and it can actually take this – Data is mm-hmm. no different than we are. I mean, it is different. Don't hear what I'm not saying. It takes data mm-hmm. and it regurgitates it in a way that suits whatever you're talking about. Yes. I'm sitting here looking at it right now. And I just, I said, uh, tell me about Jesus coming again. And it tells me uh, Jesus will come again in a future event known as the second coming is believed that he'll return to glory to judge the living and the dead, bringing about the final fulfillment of God's kingdom on earth. It goes on. Mm -hmm. But, and so you could read that and say, well, it just went to Wikipedia and pulled out this data, and then it gave it back to you. But then I go down and I say, say a prayer to God for my headache. Mm -hmm. And it writes a look like, (laughs) it writes a prayer. (laughs) Like, no joke. Little Rod's Prayer it says, Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you with a humble heart, seeking your divine intervention and healing touch. I ask that you alleviate the pain and discomfort of this headache that afflicts um, whatever your name is. I pray for your soothing presence to bring relief, bring calmness and clarity to your to whoever's mind and body. In your loving and compassionate nature, I trust that you will grant this request according to your will. May so whoever find comfort and renewed strength through your grace in Jesus' name. I oh, pray. that's scary. That's just freaky. <laughs> that <laughs> also proves that AI is a charismatic. I'm just <laughs> pulling it out. Oh my but, God. I, I mean, just you, wanted to say, terrible. do with it what you will. Listen up, you introverts. I have a tool for you. <laughs> you have to say the prayer at the dinner table. <laughs> you know, um, that is, that's freaky. But, I mean, it, but it, it puts it, it's the, cadence and the tone and yeah. the way it puts mm-hmm. and that's what ai this is listen, chat gdp it is chat, chat listen GPT. you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference 
No, the, you and, can't tell it. Okay, no, now no. Uh, I, I wanted be to. Better. I wanted to just <laughs> yeah. point something out. You you'd mentioned earlier. I, I, I want to say God is not waiting for us to get all of our doctrine right mm-hmm. before He blesses. Mm-hmm. It is about relationship. Mm-hmm. There's no doubt about that. But there are some things that are veiled from people's eyes to be able to see. Mm-hmm. Just that's just the way it is. It's not. And that's not systematic, necessarily. It can be, but it's not. That's not systematic or in search of a system to unfold truth. Well, I'm what I find is that relationship with the Holy Spirit will never violate truth. My perspective of truth may be one thing when the Holy Spirit leads me into something. My perspective of what was true might have to be laid aside for a a, a, a greater revelation from the Holy Spirit. One of the things that Isaiah wrote was this. The vision of all is become unto you as words of a book that's sealed, which a man that uh, a man delivered to one that's learned. And and he says he can't see it because it's sealed. Mm -hmm. And then he delivers the book to someone else and says, here, take this. And and the seals are open. He says, Mm -hmm. I can't. I'm unlearned. Mm -hmm. So there is a learning, a development of a relationship with Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit can lead us mm-hmm. into all truth. But I'm just, we've experienced that. We've experienced that. What I'm suggesting in relationship, to be in relationship with Christ, is relationship with the Spirit. So, But what I'm suggesting is you can't get to the true learned part Less the relationship come first. It has to. It has to precede. It, it has to precede the learning. So now, watch this. The, the AI first... is doing the job of the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. I would say that in many respects, that that whole prospect is tied into, and, and you're going to shoot me here. In some ways, to the mystery of iniquity that doth already oh, I totally work. No, oh, I wouldn't say I'd agree with you. I believe yeah, that. Yeah. I believe that. But listen, it's it's. Uh, I will have to admit that's the first time I've ever heard a prayer uh, done by AI, and it's rather impressive. If if I go by what I hear, yeah. And now there again, I'm just impressed that it actually that's what a prayer is. Oh, I, I'm telling you what's the truth. It, it's it's an it's, it's a scary thing that we are uh, no longer that we relate more. That there is more relationship to technology than there are to flesh and blood living creatures now. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. to me. That In is, other words, you're saying that the the dogs of the world are going to be replaced by AI. Listen, Your the puppies. The other day, and let me tell you, preacher and chapel is not going to be happy. <laughs> the other day, uh, I just got to tell you, I, we had a conversation. You want me to share with you? No, 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 don't share with me that conversation. Preacher and chapel is Jeff's two do- pit yeah. bull dogs. If That's anybody right. wants to know, and I got to tell you, man, listen, they're not. They are upset about this AI thing. <laughs> I've had conversations. Somebody with the other day took and. I think they did it for two days straight, if I'm not mistaken. It was either one day or two days. But they took AI and married it with video AI Mm -hmm. and had Trump and Biden debating. And it was just glorious. Uh, I actually saw that. Yeah. Did you really? Yes, I did. Well, in this article, there was one church that uh, AI preached the sermon. But you said it was a Lutheran church. I think that's right. It was. Lutheran was church it a Lutheran Germany. church? Yeah. I know they interviewed a couple of them from what I heard this morning from a friend of mine. Uh, they interviewed a couple of the parishioners that come out, and mm-hmm. one guy would not be interviewed. And he said, furthermore, I will not be coming back here. Oh, oh. did he really? So, uh, I mean, I'm, what, I am, <laughs> what I am saying yep. is, short and sweet, you know, if you, get, if you get back to Daniel mm-hmm. 12, 4, what, what he said was, this time of the end is a time where many's running to and fro, and knowledge will increase. Mm-hmm. I don't, you know, it, to, I don't know if we totally get the whole dynamic that 120 years ago, transportation was with your feet and riding a horse. Boy, I would have been messed up. Yeah, I mean, you both <laughs> at this point, uh, riding a horse. Mm-hmm. 
you know, we've went from that to here to where we're at. We are now. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, the the advances in technology has been so rapid mm-hmm. to the point that you can ask Siri or Google up something. Yeah, but Siri and uh, all of them they they mess up some. This AI yeah. that Jason's bringing to the table, it, it's it sounds. Oh, we're, it, we're playing around here, yeah. but uh, I can feel yes a drawing that I'd like to hear another one. Yeah, yeah. that's fun. Yeah. That's fun. It mm-hmm. is fun. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But I'm but I'm saying I can feel almost a spiritual drawing. Uh, that's that's my I'm just, point. I'm just honest. With that you. is yeah. my point with the opening of the first seal mm-hmm. in conjunction with, and I know Satan's been here the whole. I, mm-hmm. I get that, but there's something happened in Acts one with the announcement that Jesus was coming back. Satan mm-hmm. heard that for the first time, and and to say Paul even said the mystery of iniquity is already at work. Why did he say that? He was talking to the church of Thessalonica that that thought they were the, the, had missed the rapture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and Paul said, "No, no, no. The mystery of iniquity is already at work, but that man will not be revealed until the restrainer is taken away." Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, when he said that, if and most everybody that I know of talks about. Uh, uh, chapter 6, verse 1, the opening of the first seal is the person of the Antichrist. Mm-hmm. M- most people, right. most th- most thinking people down through the history of time With, yeah, correct. Uh, interprets it that way. And then you say, okay, but it's, it was fulfilled in AD 70. Well, no, it's, we're still here. Mm-hmm. And it's still happening. And it's still happening mm-hmm. over and over again. It's produced mm-hmm. Hitler. It's produced Mussolini. Mm-hmm. It's produced all of these things. And it's produced AI. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll tell you what's true. I don't think we've got a handle on AI yet. No, we I mean, based on what? I mean, this is a new, this is a, well, Elon Musk said, you know how he felt about or feels about AI. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's very, very disturbed about it. And uh, Well, uh, listen, we just proved live <laughs> that AI has flaws. It called me stubborn. Anyone that knows, <laughs> knows that that's not true. I left out part of it. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad <laughs> you left out the good part. He that was censored AI. <laughs> we have you know. <laughs> but what a, what a time we're coming to, Alan. When when people are actually and and this is going to happen. What would, where people's actually going to go to AI for their spiritual counseling and for their preaching? Old preacher buddies, thirty forty years ago, say. <laughs> The computer preached the sermon today. Yeah, I told you boys about them computers. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but they I didn't just, have a you computer know what, back then. You know what? I'm, and I'm going mean, to take advantage of this one little deal. Jody McClure, my cousin, he sent uh, on the kingdom, uh-huh. he sent, sent us a link to the movie Sheffy. Yes. And... Uh, and it's on uh, it's on KPS. It's on website. KPS's website. Under videos. Under videos. And I gotta dis I, I I gotta say, listen listen to me. I know that uh, in a lot of ways uh the it's making an old, of that movie it's, it's an, an old, older film. Yeah. It was made back in the seventies. Um a friend of mine, dear friend of mine that's in heaven, played in that movie. Um a man that uh, I I preached with, well actually two men that I preached with in times past was in that movie. Mm-hmm. And it's the story of the uh, kind of a biography of a man named Robert Sheffy, mm-hmm. who lived over in Southwest Virginia at, uh, in the early at the turn of the 1900s. He was a camp meeting preacher. That that film is about his life and some of the miracles he saw. Did he? Is it true he rode a horseback? Yeah, yeah, he was a circuit rider. Circuit rider. So this and was camp theology. It was camp meeting yeah. times, yeah. and it was about the death of the camp meeting. That's what yeah. the movie was about. Yeah. And I, I've got a copy of it. I watch it all the time simply because Walter Burrow plays as the camp meeting preacher, mm-hmm. and he yeah. was a dear friend of mine. And and the when they was filming that, and he actually preached that camp meeting message that they – parts of it and that they filmed, uh, I can't remember now the number of people that got saved in just during the filming, you know, and the anointing of God was present. I'll tell you something. Uh, I know that a lot of people in this day and time kind of mock and make fun of old-fashioned type 
style preaching, uh-huh. and they say it's out of date. I'm, I'm just going to say this. Um, it's sorely missed. Mm-hmm. And and it was that was not a style that just belonged to the early days in the 1900s. It was a style that was birthed in the New Testament mm-hmm. and even before. Mm-hmm. The prophets of old preached. Mm-hmm. They preached. There's much document documented evidence of that even in Scripture mm-hmm. where it was like that. And the fact that we don't have some stalwart, rock-ribbed preachers mm-hmm. that can just stand and preach anymore is why the church is standing in a weak and anemic place and they'll fall prey to an uh, AI robot for their message mm-hmm. on Sunday morning. Well, I mean, watch you, and see if that don't. Well, happen. you don't even have. Uh, I mean, you know, today you don't even have people to play pianos, organs, or so. People was That's actually right. a lot of churches had to play tracks. I think when you was in Cuba, they did some, Jason. Yep. Yep. They had yep. to play tracks That's to right. do for you music, and you, uh, That's right. so we're I losing, mean, we're and, losing. And, and we don't have preachers. We don't have so, preachers anymore. And right. so, I mean, I think it'll. Uh, it, it's hard for me to fathom, but now that it, we've been introduced to this idea, uh, it's it's in it's in the it's play there. box. It's, it's there. in the play box now. It is there. And I trust with. I trust the Lord to give us more revelation. Right now, Absolutely. I can just I'm just like you know. Uh, uh, a cow looking at a new barn door. I really don't know what I'm looking at. Yeah, but I know it's a little scary and it's a book. Well, just follow me along and I'll guide you through those. those you see, that's what that sounds like something, and, something an AI yeah. would say. Through trials and tribulations, he stood his ground <laughs> with stubbornness that echoed, resolute and profound, round and round. His beliefs anchored deep like roots of an ancient tree, a testament to the strength that only age can decree. And so yeah. I will be. All right, Jason. All right. Well, this we has been just, fun. You can yeah. tell that we have talked too long. Well, <laughs> I, I mean, we're talking about Jeff. That's right. That's, right. that's exactly right. That's right. And sometimes that's needed and sometimes it's not. Well, like, can I end this segment with one quote? Yes. Sure. It's by Franklin D. Roosevelt. Okay. He said, when you reach the end of your rope, Tied not in it and hang on. That's where I think <laughs> we are today. That's where we're at. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. All right Jason. Well, Jeff, send us out. With Father, we love you. We thank you for the day. We thank you for your grace. Yes. It's so amazing. Mm-hmm. And thank you, Lord, that once you speak something to this, this earth, it always is, it always will be, because it always was. Mm-hmm. Your word is of the same character Mm -hmm. as you are, Lord, and we love you for that. Mm. Guide us, Holy Spirit, into all truth, Mm -hmm. and we'll give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. See you you next week. We'll be here. Thank you for joining today's Smith & Rowland Show. You can check out our website at kingdompropheticsociety.org and our daily unplugged podcast at smithandrollinshow.podbean.com. You can also join us on Amazon, Apple, or Spotify.